After MacArthur's Allied forces had landed on Leyte in October 1944, they had moved on to Luzon and by February 1945 they began to liberate the remaining Philippine Islands. Today we're going to be focusing on the efforts of Lieutenant General Robert L. Eichelberger's 8th Army, which by the 2nd of April had retaken the whole northwest coast of Negros Island. By the end of June, the 40th had broken most of the Japanese defenses and had dispersed any surviving troops into the mountainous jungle to face the Filipino guerrillas on their own turf. The 40th Infantry was then able to cross the east coast. The 40th Infantry was then able to cross to the east coast of Negros Island. This was a very tough campaign that's more properly covered in another video. The whole had been cleared of Japanese resistance by the end of March. On Cebu Island, the Japanese garrison had been routed and Lieutenant General Sasaku Suzuki, commander of Japanese forces on Cebu himself, was killed in an aerial attack on April 19th whilst attempting a sea passage from Cebu Island to Mindanao. On the 26th of April, remnants of the 164th Infantry crossed from Bohol and went ashore at Sibulan, some 8 kilometers, 5 miles north of Dumaguete. There they had rendezvoused with a reconnaissance troop of the 40th Division, which had worked its way down the east coast of the island with helps of, the, of units of the 503rd Parachute Infantry Regiment. Two days after the landing, they... Definitely a nice view around, behind us, over Cebu Island, and over the Strait of Tanyon. And on the other side of the pier, that is, I think, where the landings took place. But we'd... So this appears to be the spot right here next to the light shipping uh, ferry terminal where the uh, actual uh, April 26 uh, landings took place. This seems to be the spot. From here, the 40th would have pushed up the hill here and on towards the Okoi River. Here we're coming up the side of the uh, north bank of the Okoi River, which uh, down here is a But this looks to be about the first spot along the river here where it would have been shallow enough to cross and the banks weren't very steep so you'd be able to drive out up the other side. And of course in those days there wasn't this kind of gravel farming uh, going on so the riverbed would have been quite a bit flatter. But that's probably where the 40th crossed heading off towards Dumaguete via a minefield. Two days after the landing, they had made their way through some minefields and forced the Japanese garrison to flee into the hills after they had set fire to part of the town. Then they launched a joint attack on the force of 1,300 Japanese dug into some commanding positions in the hills around the town. Combat operations continued in the hills above Dumaguete for over a month. Reducing the well-entrenched Japanese forces became a slow and tedious process for the two battalions of the 164th Regiment. The Americans were calling the battle here as the battle of the ridges. Yes. The Japanese occupied all <coughs> the yes. ridges. Take military training, yes. Yes. occupy high ground. Yes. You have occupy the advantage. The Absolutely. And when you're on top of the high ground, when you throw your grenade, you can throw it further down. Exactly. When you're down there, when you throw it up, it will difficult. come back to you. It will to come kill back you. on you. Yes. The battle <laughs> for the region 
commence on April 27 mm -hmm. after the after liberation the of the Mageti. Mageti yeah. So I have a dog tag of an American soldier who died on. And this is Eugene Joseph Parinchow. Parinchow. I found the dog tag of Douglas Thompson. Came from North Dakota. He was a casualty on May 4, 1945. Mm -hmm. I have his dog tags here. He died June 7, 1945. This is the poem where he died. Or was last seen, yeah. Where private prescribed provincial body was last seen. This is the high speed Mount yes. Salinas. Yes. And this is over there. And he died here. I already have been there and... Heavy artillery fire followed by direct infantry assaults in the face of suicidal opposition became the pattern of combat. The American tactics of sustained assaults upon position after position, however, proved effective. And it was not until the 28th of May 1945 that the Japanese positions were finally taken. The last major battle took place here at what is now the site of the Japanese shrine in the hills of Valencia. At this time, the Filipino guerrillas then took on the responsibility of mopping up operations. The 164th Infantry had suffered 35 men killed and 180 wounded in Negros during this month, while the Japanese lost 350 men and 15 more were captured. So this is where the Battle of the Ridges, as it was called, ended up. You can see this is one ridge after another ridge, deep gullies. And this is very steep territory, so you can just imagine how difficult it was for the Americans to fight their way up here. Very steep terrain on all sides. took on the responsibility for mopping up operations. The 164th Infantry had suffered 35 men killed and 180 wounded in southeast Negros during this month, while the Japanese had lost 350 men and 15 more were captured. So here I can see some uh, evidence of, uh, of what Felix Catal was uh, saying, uh, that the Japanese flight school for uh, young pilots, which would have been kamikaze pilots, had actually been involved in this operation. So these are uh, flight instructors and young students. This is the uh, the 31st Educational uh, Flying Group. Look at all those names. These are people that were not really trained as uh, as, as infantrymen, but are pilots and, uh, fly and flight instructors. This apparently is an urn that contains the ashes of American Filipino and Japanese soldiers. Apparently they were cremated separately but buried together. What was left of the battalion disappeared up into the mountains above Valencia onto the foothills of Mount Alinis. At this time the Americal, deeming that the remaining Japanese troops were down in strength to about 3,000, decided that this was enough of an assignment for them and they wanted to depart for Mindanao and operations uh, down there and accordingly they left the mop-up operation to the 503rd Parachute Infantry Regiment. In fact the situation on Negros was nothing like as settled as that and there were something there was still something like 7,000 armed men in organized units running around on Negros Island. Nevertheless Operation Victor II was declared complete on June 20th. The remaining Japanese troops, including the fanatical 2nd Raiding Regiment, which were themselves also parachutists. As far as anyone knows, the remaining Japanese troops hid out on those mountains and 
south of here for another three months before the final surrender down at Ginsuan Bridge in Zamboanguita. But that's the subject for another video.